New tonight, Portland police identifying the man stabbed to death in a southeast Portland as someone K2 has interviewed before. Kenny Hausman lived in the Clinton neighborhood near a street lined with houseless people in RVs, and he told us he tried to maintain order. K2's Emily Gersh is live in the neighborhood now. Emily, you spoke with witnesses. What did they have to say? Yeah, Deb, well, neighbors say they woke up to a man yelling in the street who Houseman went to go talk to. The exchange ended in his death. People in the neighborhood called him the neighborhood sheriff. You think Kenny helped maintain a lot of order in this neighborhood? Yeah, I think on this, as much as he can on, on a city street. Are you worried about this uh, neighborhood becoming worse without him? Yeah. Thanks to my efforts, their catalytic converters, a few of them are stolen. We first introduced you to Kenny Houseman in September. You have to know who's on your street. Houseman lives in a house at the corner of Southeast 136th and Clinton. He told us he owns the block where RVs and other homeless vehicles are parked. And he decides who gets to live there and who doesn't. When you pull up with a piece of junk, I don't want you here. If you pull up with a decent trailer, that you obviously own, maybe even have put plates on it. I want you here. But at 12.30 Monday morning, police say Hausman was fatally stabbed. Neighbors say it happened after he responded to a man yelling in the street. They yell, Mike, come out here, this guy beating up Kenny in the street. I go, what, what? And I put on my shoe and sock. By the time I got there, Kenny was stabbed, bleeding profusely. Police haven't released details on what led to the stabbing, but they tell us they detained the suspect at the scene and he's been released and not charged with a crime. Zamora says he's still processing the tragedy. He would still let people do things and to try to help them out. And he just didn't have to die, you know. Houseman was 73. We spoke with some of his family members today, but they declined to speak with us on camera. Live in Southeast Portland, Emily Gersh, K2 News. Emily, thank you.